The experience of mental illness can be overwhelming, especially when you're having that experience for the very first time. Symptoms like sadness, agitation, overwhelming rage, panic attacks, or numbness pile on until we're almost buried alive. It's crushing and confusing, and we don't even know how to think about problems, much less solutions. Today I'd like to share with you a way to think about the problem of mental illness that also helps us know where to look for solutions. It's called the biopsychosocial model. And it helps me to think about this in terms of a Venn diagram with three overlapping circles. The first circle contains the biological part of the picture. In any mental illness, there are likely to be biological factors like heredity. Also, certain illnesses can cause mood issues as well, and trauma has an enormous impact on our bodies. We like to think of trauma as just a mental issue, but it is definitely a, a biological issue with medical help that's available. For solutions in the biological circle, we're talking about going to your doctor and getting on some medication. The second circle is psychological and spiritual in nature. This circle is about the experiences that have brought pain into our lives. And with that pain, we've had thoughts and we've had feelings. And those thoughts and those feelings often develop into beliefs like, nobody can love me and I'll always be abandoned. For solutions in this part of the circle, we're looking to therapy for help. And in therapy, we can learn to recognize those negative thoughts, those lies about our lack of value, and we can begin to live in the truth as we are in a safe relationship where we can experience how valuable we truly are. The third circle is about our social environment, what's happening in our world right now. There may be family stress. There may be job pressures or unemployment. There may be difficult events like accidents or injury or we may have experienced the death of someone that we love. In fact, any kind of transition, even positive transitions, can bring stress into our lives. And when that happens, we need to figure out how to deal with those issues. In the social circle, usually what we're talking about is looking at our boundaries and also thinking about how we can be healthy in the area of self-care. So now you know how to think about mental illness and you're good to go. And hopefully you don't even need therapy now, right? Well, I think dealing with mental illness is like learning to play a complicated instrument. Reading about it, looking at pictures about it, that's not gonna be enough. You'll need practice if you're going to learn to play this instrument of your life well. Often it helps to take lessons and you can think about therapy that way. You're learning to play the instrument of your life with expertise. I hope that helps you like it's helped me. Okay.